We want to talk about another winner right now, and it's the winner of our 60-minute makeover, and that is Jen. So you'll remember Jen is a nurse. Uh, we gave her big props for that. Married five years. I uh, just got her haircut. We don't care. We gave her another makeover today. Please welcome Jen. We want to see her. Now. I feel great. It was time for a change, and why not, right? What Life's you, too short. Life is too short. You gotta have some fun. What do you think your coworkers uh, at the at work are gonna say to this new look? Um, great. I don't know. <laughs> there, she, there she's at it again. You work with some exciting people there, Jen. Yeah, no, yeah. So they're they're used to you changing your look up, right? Is that uh, the not is that so the point? Much, so not they so might much. Be a little bit shocked, but. Love it's it. It's all good. <laughs> okay, I think that the team is all good, right? Let's yeah. give here it for Palma and she loves it. So good uh, to have you guys work on this really well-deserving recipient. Let's talk about this hair, Palma. Well, how many people do you know get a haircut twice in one week? Right. <laughs> well, Jen does. And <laughs> I really enjoyed reshaping this for you. I did like what you had, but you just needed a little bit of a party in the back here, honey. We yeah. have some body, some movement. Again, I really love doing this like shattered bob. You can tighten it with some curl and movement. And then from the front here, you can always tuck it one side behind your ear, versatility. It's gonna be really easy for you. But remember one thing with fine hair, our settings on our tools. Okay. We have to remember that with finer hair, we gotta keep it lower on the setting and not so high. We don't want no crispy ends. Your hair looks beautiful. Thank Enjoy you. it. Got it. So this is like care and maintenance, things to look out for when you've got finer hair. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. Love that. All right, come on in here. Yeah. Sabrina, let's talk about um, her gorgeous look. It's yeah. so pretty. So she wanted to have just a really nice day look. Yeah. And a bit, toning down the pink in her skin was one of her main concerns. Mm -hmm. So what we did is we kind of just gave her a really nice medium coverage foundation. And you got to remember that if you do have a bit of pink in your skin, carry it down your neck we actually you can carry all the whatever skins exposed mm -hmm. you want to cover so it's very flawless even your ears if you tend to oh, really? be a little bit pink and you tuck your hair yeah or they're visible and also for the blush you don't want to use a pink blush because you're just bringing that pink back in mm -hmm. so we use the uh, orangey peachy blush mm -hmm. and you can see it even reads already a bit pink again because the skin wants to bring in the pink Got so it. choosing more of a peachy tone yeah. And then for her brows, she really wanted to kind of fill in her brow shape, make it a little bit more defined. Mm -hmm. Brows really do frame a face, we know this. Yes. Hence why they're such a big trend. So I wanted to explain, one of the key ways to kind of know how to fill in your brow or how to create that shape, if you're kind of filling it in, yeah. is you want to line up the beginning of the brow mm -hmm. with the inner corner of the eye. So see how that, that matches right there? Mm -hmm. And then where the arch should be, if you look straight into your mirror, it should line up with the outer part of your iris. So Got see it. how that arch is right there lining up straight ahead. Yeah. So you don't want it too far in or too far out. Yeah. And the tail of the brow should line up if you take again your pencil yeah. with your bottom lash line going straight up. And again, that should line up. That is such so, a good lesson because we are brow obsessed right now. Is. Yeah, yes. so good. That's good and lesson. And so to many have. of us are growing out our brows. That's from what I'm doing right now from 1996. Yes, from the 90s. <laughs> it's taking yes. forever, girl. I know. Oh my gosh. Okay, come on in here, Lynn. So um, I noticed she changed. Look at what she's wearing. So, Do you want to speak a little bit to this gorgeous look she's got on? I'll go behind you. So, yeah. Uh, Joe Fresh was kind enough to to leave some clothes behind for us and. This mm. little girl's going to be keeping this beautiful outfit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is so lovely. Thank so, you, Joe Fresh. Yes, thank you to Joe Fresh. Yes. So I wanted to um, to give her at least two pieces that she could take apart and also work beautifully together with. Yeah. The scarf is as big uh, as big enough that it could become a shawl. Mm -hmm. um, you could certainly do a pair of jeans with this and a white shirt, and it would look fantastic. And the dress itself. It has a little placket in the front. Yeah. It's got a little bow tie, but there's no waist here. 
Which is great. Which is absolutely ideal. Yeah. And you see it's got a little frill here, which is so very, very pretty. And the jacket itself is marvelous because it does have um, a lot of quilting and a great little pocket. Well, but let's I, give it I'm up for this you. gorgeous makeover and this beautiful look. Did you hear the music there, Lynn? I heard that music. That, that means we got to go. <laughs> <laughs> we